Stephanie Rawlings Blake was quick to respond to Hogan's plan. She says the plan does little to help the citizens of Baltimore. People who use public transportation daily to get around Baltimore and other parts of Maryland can tell you where the system is lacking and what is needed to improve it. And it's just unbelievable. Sometimes we have to actually miss a bus because it's so packed. Well, you have certain stops that need more buses. You know, if you got some to go way out, you know, and you got to wait an hour for a bus. So if they, if they can figure out how they can figure out, you know, what stops need to have more buses. Adding more buses is part of Governor Hogan's plan, but Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake says it's going to do very little to advance the transportation needs of city residents. The state's obligation per state law is to provide for uh, public transportation and public transportation infrastructure. Uh, the plan that was put forward today basically means the governor's going to invest in making the buses run on time and having an, an, an efficient bus service. That's not transformative. The mayor also says the plan fails to deliver the regional east-west economic development benefits many were counting on with the red line. This rider, who relies on all of Maryland's public transportation options, says he does not think the plan is a good one. No, I think it will complicate the system because it's slightly complicated already. And those of us who go to work, like me, who have to use the bus lines and the subway and the light rail or mock train, it's, it's going to complicate it. Now, naturally, the city's buses do travel into uh, local counties. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz was quick to address this new plan. He gave this statement when, when he spoke out in a statement on paper. Although the governor has not shared his transportation plan with me, it appears that it once again leaves the Baltimore region stuck in traffic. Simply window dressing a bus system is not a mass transportation solution, end quote. Reporting live, Bon Dom and Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, thank you, Lisa. And the MTA does have an interactive map showing the current bus system and what those proposed changes look like. If you'd like to see it, we have a link to that map on WBALTV.com. Just click on local news.